Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a very long time. I just haven't really made a video. I've been definitely buying a lot of stuff. I just haven't been making reviews. I actually do a lot of like reviews on my Instagram stories if you want to ever follow me there. It's just a lot easier and I also am a big returner of things. So I like to like try something on and then I'll return it the next day. So there's not really any time to make a YouTube video, especially when you have a full-time job. So yeah, if you're interested in reviews, I would just follow me because I'm literally always buying stuff and reviewing out my story. Anyways, I figured I'd do a video on this one because I feel like a few people are interested in the new Alphalete leggings because I feel like they're really hyped and I feel like I only really see the Alphalete the Alph Alphalete athletes make videos on them. So obviously by the title, I'm just reviewing the leggings, the um, new Halo leggings. And I got it in that tannish color, I forget what it's called. And I will be comparing them to the original Revival Leggings and the R6 Revival Leggings. And then I also got the R6 Shorts in Cloud Grey, which I've already reviewed before. Going to the leggings, I didn't get the Arrow Leggings because I could tell that like it wasn't, it didn't really like stretch around your butt, you know? like. It sounds like such a weird thing to say, but if you're a girl, you probably know that like I do, and I'm sure most girls do kind of like to like pull leggings like up their butt kind of. Like you don't want it to be like a uni butt. You kind of want it to like have a seam and you know, separate it out. And I know one of the girls said that the arrow leggings didn't do that. But then also if you hear anything in the background, that's my dog chewing on her bone here. Yeah. So anyways, she did say that the arrow leggings kind of fix that and they do kind of go up your butt. I will say right now, I don't think that's true. I think they still, you know, are kind of like stiff around there because there's a lot of fabric, which is fine. Like it's still super stretchy. So I am going to try this on for you, but just first impressions, they are so soft. You know, like there's all this detailing and it's just like very soft. It's very intricate. Um, I think it's very different and unique, but it's not like too much. Like. There are some leggings out there where they'll do that, but then they make all different colors and it's just kind of like too much. This I think is really subtle, where I was actually comfortable enough to wear this for a shoot I did for the gym I work at, which I'll pop a few pictures here just to show you kind of what it looked like on me um, for the pictures. Um, it's very subtle, like the detail is not in your face or anything. And then I always love how the Alphalete prints like stitches in their logo back here rather than just having it raised or something where it can rub off. And then first impressions when putting it on compared to Revivals. This was super easy to put on compared to Revivals. Revivals you kind of have to like really like scrunch up your leg. These were a lot easier. The only reason why I might take a slower time is because there are so many details in it and I was afraid to like pull on it or like cause a run on it. Also with that being said, I know a girl that follows me on Instagram, she got the leggings as well and she noticed a run on the leggings um, when she first got them. So, I mean, they're definitely delicate, so I would have to be super careful with that. Um, but that's like most of my leggings, I feel like anyways. Um, so first, let me just compare them side to side by the revivals and then I'll try them on for you. I really apologize for her, but she's not gonna stop chewing that bone, so you're just gonna hear that the whole video. But um, here I have the original revivals, the R6, and then the Halo leggings. So um, you can already kind of tell between these two fabrics that this is definitely thicker of a fabric compared to this. It's definitely thinner, a little bit rougher. Um, and then these fabrics are like identical, as you can see here. They're both very soft and everything and very thick. And then I believe that the, the difference here is um, they extended this a little bit so that there's no camel toe. And yeah, I would say that, that this is like just very similar, but as you can see, there's just detailing along there rather than this detailing here. So, I mean, I would say that's pretty much it, but the detailing does cause the difference. Um, like I said, it's a lot easier to get these on than these on. And then I just also wanna show you, I got the cloud gray shorts. I want to show you that color next to this one. I think this is, they're both such pretty colors and unique colors. I, so I, these were like must haves for me. And I made a review on these shorts already, but I really do like these shorts. I have them in this blue as well. So I wanted like a neutral color and I love it, I already wore it. Now just turning it around to show you. So as you can see, there's rib down here is a detailing on the revivals. And then over here, it's just a different kind of detailing right under the glutes and then up here as well. So going back to how it is delicate, I do notice it like you do have to be careful. Like I definitely, 
already scruffed it i think like like right there it's already kind of scruffed and then even like over here too you could see it's kind of scruffed too so you definitely have to be super careful like i was teaching i taught three classes three um like group training classes in a row um so that definitely is a lot of wear on these leggings and it shows <laughs> but yeah so now let me try these on okay so here are the leggings on me so again they're really easy to take to put on they're so soft literally zero camel toe which is amazing i think these are one of like two leggings that i have that don't give me camel toe um and then so around the butt like i think that the detailing is really nice around the butt the only thing like i said is it doesn't stretch as much like to go in between my butt it's just still kind of around it which is fine because like um it's not as bad as i think the r6 revivals yeah like it's still flattering um but you can see here i feel like if you look closely you can probably see some wear on it already so like i said they're very delicate so and then the length it definitely comes all the way down here i have super long legs like a 33 inch inseam basically for legs. I'm 5'8. I'll have all my sets below. Um, so, actually, for the pictures and for class, I wanted it 7'8, so I just rolled it up and I still think it looks cute like that. Um, and then the only thing, too, is that the, I feel like the crotch gusset is super big, so it kind of comes like really high back here. So, um, I don't know if, like, I'm, first, let me do the squat test here. I don't know if you can see the cross tracks up there, but definitely like when I was deadlifting or something. I just feel like the cross tracks, it was kind of big, but like I'm kind of fine with that if that means that there's no camel toe. But yeah, let me just show you like up close a little bit what it looks like here. So yeah, I think it's really nice, very flattering. And I definitely recommend these, especially if they're on Black Friday sale. Um, just with the caveat that that they are super delicate so like there might be runs in them which I know that's probably that might be like a deal breaker for some people because they don't want to spend their money on something that's that delicate but they're so comfortable like they're not a legging where I'm like running to take them off like I'm comfortable sitting in them all day I almost feel like I would get them in another color if they're a really good sale on Black Friday so I feel like that's pretty much it like I think squat proofness, um, I, I'm gonna look at, back at the camera, but I'm wearing a nude thong, But I, so I feel like if I definitely was wearing colored underwear, it would show, but um, I'm fine with the way it is now. Like I, <coughs> sorry, Paisley was just freaking out and someone in the hallway, but uh, I think that's pretty much it. Relax. I think that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Like if I had to come, if I had to choose one between these leggings and the revivals, I actually would choose these leggings just because they're so much easier to put on. Like even though at the revivals feel good once you have them on, I am always in my head like, oh, I don't feel like putting those leggings on right now because they're so hard to get on. So I would actually grab these over those, um, especially since they are the thicker material now. So it's not like, so yeah, that's just something to keep in mind. But I hope this was helpful, if at all. I'm sorry if this was like kind of a random video to just make a video about one pair of leggings but black friday is coming up people are interested especially because they're so hyped so yeah i'm just <laughs> look at her okay so yeah happy black friday shopping i'll be checking my comments if you have any so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one whenever that is